Faith in Christ is more than an academic thing. It's more than something that everybody else gets involved in, but you're not interested in. It should interest you because it is what will deliver you ultimately one day from all of Earth's pain, all of Earth's heartache, all of Earth's disease, all of Earth's trauma, and all of Earth's dysfunction. One of these days, the happy ending is we will go to heaven and be with Jesus, and we will be like him, and it's going to be amazing. And it's not excluding you. You can be a part of it as well. Here's how it works. One of the most famous things about the life of Christ is that on Good Friday, he died on the cross. He was the sinless substitute for sinful people like you and me. We've all sinned. You can call it whatever you want. Flawed, marred, deeply disturbed, whatever you think. We, we're all in that situation. But when Christ died for those sins and then rose from the dead three days later to prove that he was victorious over that and that he truly was God, he now says to you, you can be in that family. You can be born again, born from above. And it's not complicated. You don't have to join something or work to do things or write large checks or you know, it's not about accomplishments or works. It's about grace, that God is offering us salvation freely. And all he wants us to do is to receive that gift. Wouldn't you have an ugly mom and dad if uh, every Christmas morning you came down and before you opened the presents, dad presents you with a bill? Yeah, this is what Christmas ran us this year, big guy. I'll take a check. That's not a gift. You're buying your own Christmas. Well, when Christ offers you a gift, he's not saying, hey, I need, uh, I need your visa. I need your American Express. He's saying, no, it's offered to you for free. If you simply accept what I have done for you, accept me as the savior for you, your personal savior, I guarantee you eternal life. It is hope that you can count on. L, peace, absolutely guaranteed. And you can do that in the privacy of your own mind. You can say a private little prayer. I remember I said, God, I don't understand all this stuff, but I realize I need you as my savior. The best I know how, I receive you as my personal savior. Thank you, Lord, for taking care of me. And the Bible says, the second I did that, I was born into the family of God. People were coming from waiting rooms all over the place to see this brand new baby Butterworth. Born into the family of God. And the same thing can happen for you. Hope is a happy ending. You need Christ in your life for that to be the truth.